Hello everyone and welcome to this video. Today I will be showing you how to fix, or at least it fixed it for me, uh, how to get rid of that black uh, map. We open up map and it's black and even if you discover stuff it will be still black on how to fix that when you're hosting your own server. And I'm not talking about a rented server, I'm talking your own dedicated server that you're hosting yourself. And like I said, not a paid server or a rented server from a third party uh, hosting site. So I am hosting uh, my own uh, servers. And I had the issue that every time I opened my map, that the map was black. It was a pain in the ass. I couldn't figure it out. And it's, it just didn't want to work. So if you know how this, uh, this map editor works, uh, you basically have all your sectors, your zones, and so on. When you export it, if you all know how that works, there are multiple tutorials out there, so I'm not going into that. If you export it, you basically um, get all of... Uh, which map was it? You basically get all of these files that will be popping in here. So in this case, uh, um, you have to rename them to what you see here. Once you exported them, and then you need to put them in your server where you actually where your your server is, such as um, whatever the location, and then you shoot a game, and then you post the files here. So it will be that one, this one, and that one, and that's basically how most people do it in most tutorials. But that still wouldn't fix the um, the black screen map or the black map. So what I have done is, as you can see here, I have a four by four grid. Uh, basically, the let me show you. This is my grid that I'm hosting, and um, as you can see, there are like two, like they're the exact same pictures, but they have different names. So these till let me see, till this one. Yeah, all of these, uh, shift. So all of, yeah, it's a little bit hard to see, but let me uh, show you in a different view. So details. So as you can see here, all of these are the default exports. If you change the name to this, depending on how many sectors you have, like you leave, the underscore and then whichever number, don't touch that. You only change the first piece. So let me open it and show you. You only change the name of this and then save it. And then it should fix most of it. Now, like I said, I am not 100% sure if this will fix it for the server and for everyone, but there's another, reason, uh, there's another uh, piece that you can try out. So I haven't tried one of them. I would actually tried both of them because I wanted to make 100% sure that it worked because it's just annoying. So I'm going to show you both ways. And the last image, this is the default one, which show you the, uh, the entire grid. That's the default name as well. Change the name to this, and that should fix it. If not, if it's still black, then you go to your your uh, steam then you select atlas then you go to properties then to file location then browse file location and then shooter games and then you go to saved if i'm not mistaken yes and then map cache and then you will probably see a number or the uh, map number in here so make sure that you have the correct number and then like i said these are the default ones. Let me show that in a different view. Uh, there we go. So these are the default, which may not work. Just rename them to what you see here. Like I said, do not change the last numbers. And with the other map, you change it to, uh, to this. I will show you here. And that will fix it. And I received, I have been looking so long for this to get fixed. And somebody actually made a post about it. I will put the original post link in the video description as well. 
So basically, he did the exact same thing, and uh, it will fix them from now. This is a map two by two, but if you have like one grid or multiple grids, the only thing that changes is the last little piece right here. This is the only piece that changes. So you only have to do this in front of it, and that should fix it. At least it fixed it for me. And to prove it, I will show you. Uh, just give me a second to start the actual server. So this one is a demo, the demo that I made it, so I can actually show you the script for it. Like this is the location of my personal hosted server. So feel free to have a look at it. And yes, the password has been changed just for this demo purpose. Uh, you have your server ports, your server IP, if you're hosting it yourself. And we're basically gonna start it up. Now, depending on which sector you wanna uh, start up, you basically have to create a batch file depending on which sector you wanna host. And you do not have to change anything in here under the uh, node uh, plus plus, which would be here. You don't have to touch anything in here, except for you may want to change the server name or so on. But in here, I haven't changed anything. And to make things easier for the server, I actually uh, uploaded the uh, image of the entire map. So that's the only thing I've changed. I haven't changed anything else. So and you basically can uh, follow the instructions of this. It doesn't really matter. So you really don't even have to touch that file, just to be clear. So I'm just waiting for that server to launch, and I may need to launch the other one, but I'm just gonna wait a little bit. Uh, let me get this one as well. So I'm just waiting for that server to boot up. Now, it is a hard drive, it is a little bit slower, so I just have to wait until that server launches, then I'll start up the game. I reconnect to the server, and then uh, because I still want to do a little bit more tweaks, so that's why I'm uh, waiting. And it takes a little bit to start up, so my apologies that it takes a little bit longer. But uh, once that server is up, I will be able to reconnect, and I will show you the uh, result, and uh, thereby proving that it actually is fixed. Well, I haven't shown you how it looked before, but if you have this experience, then feel free to try it out. It uh, it fixed my issue that I had, and uh, yeah, I'm just glad it finally works. So let me start up the game, and I'll show you. So right now I only have one server up, so only one grid, which will be um, the Atlas B3 region, which is that single server that I launched right now. And I'll show you uh, that the map is fixed. And this is not a rented server, this is my own dedicated server, as you can see here. And my apologies for the lag, if you have lag. I'm booting up the game, so that's why it uh, may lag a little. So if I open the map now, you will see that the islands are there. If I zoom out, you even see like a little grid. So these are all the grids that I have on my 4x4 server. Well, actually, it's more than that, but it's a 4x4 server, so you can actually see the grid line. I don't think I can actually zoom in that good on that end. You can actually see, I, mean, uh, I don't think I can, maybe if I do inventory. Uh, but you can see the line, and you can see the other islands as well. So yeah, the map is now officially fixed. So you can see the first zone and the other zones as well, like the starting areas. And you can see that I'm on the sec uh, second sector, which is the single server that I'm hosted right now. And uh, to go even further, you can see that uh, I am logged into my server. 
the region atlas b3 which is this zone right here and there you go so that is what it fixed for me and uh yeah hopefully this information was helpful to you guys like i said i will post the original post down in the video description and i hope this is helpful for you guys like i said this is what fixed it for me uh so feel free to try it out and uh yeah there you go so thank you guys for watching if there's anything more that i can help you guys with just feel free to let me know like i said i'm gonna shut down the server again because i'm gonna do a little bit more uh editing stuff so i'm gonna shut down this one and like i said before this is my own dedicated server which I'm hosting from uh, my own and not through a third party website. So if you ever want to host a server yourself, you can do that. It is a pain in the ass to set up. I'm not gonna lie. It's a pain in the ass to set up. And if you have one dot or one letter or the name wrong, it will not function. If you have a server with a processor like uh, four cores, eight threads, with uh, 32 gigs of RAM, you can host four to five servers. I would recommend four max. So that will be a two by two grid. And keep the player levels at, uh, or the players at 50 max. Um, any higher than that, and you may have some bad time. But uh, it's a pain in the ass to set up, like I said before. And for each sector you want to host, you have to create a separate batch file. And like I said, it's a pain in the ass. But it does work. All the grids are there. You can still customize this and export it. But like I said, you will have to change the names. And that is what fixed it for me. So this is the original post. And this literally fixed it for me. Just by changing this name fixed everything so there you go thank you guys for watching feel free to share this video on post or whatever you want and um yeah i'm glad that i was able to fix it by myself and make this video for you guys so again thanks for watching and see you online